Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this question from the topic Magnetism and Matter from the J Main 2019 paper, we have two magnetic dipoles X and Y placed at separation D with their axis perpendicular to each other. Okay, so this is one dipole and uh, this is south pole, this is north pole, this is the axis of the dipole. So this is another dipole, this is the north pole, this is the south pole. So the axis are per at perpendicular okay, and uh, they are placed at separation D from each other. So separation D means midpoint of this dipole to the other dipole, this, di this distance is D. The dipole moment of Y is twice that of X. So if this is Y, this is X. So dipole moment of Y is twice that of X. This is twice M. And this is M. A particle of charge Q is passing through their midpoint P at angle theta equal to 45 degree with the horizontal line. So P is the midpoint. So total distance D. So this distance will be D by 2. This is also d by 2. Now the particle is passing through point P at angle theta equal to 45 degree with the horizontal line. So this is point P. Particle is going like this and this angle is 45 degree. What would be the magnitude of force on the particle at that instant? Means at the instant the particle crosses this midpoint, what will be the force? And D is much smaller than the dimensions of the dipole. So D is much smaller than the dimensions, other dimensions. Okay. So this question, we have to find the force on a charged particle moving in a magnetic field. That is magnetic Lorentz force. That is given by F is equal to Q V cross B. So this is in vector form. So we need to find the velocity, direction of velocity and the direction of magnetic field direction of velocity is already given so now see this point p is along the axial line of this dipole and along the equatorial line of the other dipole okay so now let's see what are the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at point p for the two dipoles now for this dipole point p being along the axis the magnetic field will be in this direction okay this is Bx, the magnetic field due to this dipole because along axial line we know that magnetic field is parallel to the axis and it is in the direction of the dipole moment. So dipole moment is directed from south pole to north pole. So magnetic field is also directed from in this direction parallel to the magnetic dipole moment. Whether it is for axial line P is along the axial line or whether it is equatorial line for this dipole P point is along the equatorial line. Magnetic field is always parallel to the axis of the dipole but for axial line it is in the direction of magnetic dipole moment and for equatorial line the magnetic field is opposite to the direction of magnetic dipole moment. So for this dipole uh, the magnetic dipole moment is from south pole to north pole so this uh, magnetic field will be the opposite direction but again parallel to the dipole so this is by okay so now we know the direction of bx and by now let us find the magnitude of bx and by okay so bx being see this is along the axial line so axial line the general expression for magnetic field is b not by 4 pi twice m by r cube. Now here twice m 2 times m magnetic development is m so this is 2 into m and r here r is this distance d by 2. Okay, So this r cube will be d by 2 cube. Okay. And what about uh, for by for equatorial line, general expression is mu naught by 4 pi m by r cube. Okay. But here this m is twice m. Okay. And r cube 
R is again d by 2. Okay. So if you compare these two, as you can see, both have same magnitude. Bui is equal to Bx. Now, since both have same magnitude, so if you see this triangle, okay, if you consider this right angle triangle, and if you have to find the direction of the resultant field, okay, so you have, see, you have, this is Bx and this is Dy. Suppose this is the direction of the resultant field, theta, and this is the resultant field. So this, how to find this theta? Tan theta, it will be equal to this perpendicular by base. So that is, that is By by Bx. Now since both these have same magnitude, By is equal to Bx, tan theta is equal to 1, or theta is equal to 45 degree. So this angle is 45 degree. So that means the magnetic field is also directed in this direction in which the charged particle is moving. So it implies V and B, V and B they are parallel. Now if V and B they are parallel, this implies F force on the charged particle will be zero, isn't it? So in this question from the all the given options, this option one is the correct answer. Hope this solution is clear to you.